one. Remember that old lick? I you just love playing guitar. It's such fun. Anyhow, just wanted to uh, say, hey, this is Steve Pedersen coming at you. Thanks, everyone, for all the uh, responses to the previous uh, video that I put up about the Epiphone Les Paul Ultra 3 guitar. Uh, this video is in response to that, but as you can tell, I'm not uh, playing the Epiphone Les Paul Ultra 3 guitar. I'm actually playing a uh, Gibson uh, Les Paul, traditional Les Paul. This is one with a honey burst finish on it and the classic 57 uh, humbuckers uh, in it. And um, so here I'm going to explain how to follow up to my uh, previous uh, videos, which you, if you haven't seen them yet, please take a look at them. Uh, but I assure you this video is about the Les Paul Ultra 3 and uh, some of the decisions that I made. If you remember, if you've seen the video, then you've noticed that uh, one of the problems that I had with the guitar was that there was a lot of buzzing um, on the strings that we just couldn't get rid of. Uh, there were several guitars that we tried out and um, we couldn't get rid of the buzz. Uh, what I had done was I had ordered a replacement for my guitar, got a brand new one out of the box, showed up at the store and the guitar tech and I took it out of the box and we worked on it for what seemed like an hour and we, we just couldn't fix it. We couldn't get rid of the buzz out of the guitar. So um, I had a very difficult decision to make. Uh, I, I gave up the Les Paul uh, and, and I traded up. I traded up for uh, a different guitar. Uh, it was a very difficult decision because I do want to say the Les Paul Ultra 3 really is a, is a great guitar. It's very versatile and uh, you can you know see that by my previous video. Uh, but there's you know certain standards that I definitely have with my guitars. I felt like paying $800 for a guitar, well, that's a lot of money uh, for a guitar. I mean, obviously there's much more expensive guitars out there. But if you're going to pay $800 for a guitar, you should get a really, really good instrument. And I just felt like, uh, you know, they were trying to do too much in one instrument. And, you know, I remember watching the uh, initial video when they, when I saw the Ultra 3 for the first time, and I thought, wow, that guitar has got to be worth like $2,500. And when I saw the price tag for $750, I was like, well, that's too good to be true. And so... That's usually the case, you know, if something's too good to be true, it's usually too good to be true. Uh, so I opted for going for a different guitar. Um, let me explain. Uh, the Les Paul Ultra 3 is made in China, and it's made with uh, sort of lesser quality woods. It has a, a veneer top on it, um, and uh, it just seemed like they couldn't quite get the neck right, perfect for my... Uh, I'm very picky uh, about my uh, sounds that I get out of the guitar, and, and string buzz just really bothers me. So um, I decided to go for an American-made, high-quality instrument. Yeah, I did pay a little bit more for it, um, but I found that it was worth it. So um, what I will say about the Les Paul Ultra 3 is that it's, it's a great guitar if you really need it for a live situation Say, for example, you're the only guitar player and you need to, um, you know, go back and forth very quickly or maybe sometimes at the same time to have acoustic and electric guitar. Uh, I thought the sounds of the guitar were great. I, I, like I said, it was a very difficult decision to give up that guitar. Uh, a lot of great features on it. But one thing that, um, that I come to learn is that the most important part of any guitar that you buy is the body and the neck because because that's the skeleton of the guitar right the electronics you can always change out and one of the things that the guitar tech and I talked about is that we bought a quality instrument like this Les Paul here made in America uh, that we could actually add uh, an acoustic guitar setup to it at a later time uh, for maybe a couple hundred bucks extra so I realize a lot of you don't have that kind of money and you're just getting into a guitar. Uh, let me throw this out there for you. If you have $800 to spend on a guitar and you don't need to play that uh, guitar as an acoustic and an electric at the same time, then what I might recommend is getting two separate guitars. Get an acoustic guitar for 300 bucks. You can get a really nice acoustic guitar for 300 bucks. Get an electric guitar for 500 bucks. You can get a nice one for 500 bucks, uh, and then you'll have two good, you know, quality instruments. Um, 
But as I said, I mean, the Les Paul Ultra 3 really did save my life for this musical. I really needed it for that. And if I ever get asked to play that musical again, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But uh, anyhow, I'm very happy with this guitar and um, wanted to play a little something for you that uh, uh, I think is kind of cool. So. that I'm going through, um, obviously going through the Les Paul into a couple of different amps. I'm actually playing through a compressor, a Keeley 4-knob compressor, and that's going through a, uh, a MXR carbon copy delay, and that's going into a uh, Red Witch Medusa stereo chorus pedal, which is going into uh, two different amplifiers here, two different Fender amplifiers. And um, lastly there, I just kicked in the TS-9. Uh, so anyhow, again, just wanted to say thanks as a follow-up to all the responses that I did get from my previous videos. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to drop me a line and uh, keep on rocking. Take care.